Good morning. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. Welcome to Column Hinge, everyone. We're located halfway between Death Valley and Las Vegas, halfway between Joshua Tree and Area 51 in the Mojave Desert of the Southwest United States. The ancient magic ritual you're about to experience is unique in the world. This comes from the Bruce Codex, an ancient Christian manuscript rediscovered in this Egypt in 1769, containing two lost books of the Bible, known as either the first and second book of Yahweh or the books of the Savior. These two books contain what purport to be the secret methods that Jesus taught to his disciples. I'm Reverend David Griffin. I'm Reverend Leslie McQuaid. And this is the opening of the treasury of light. The sun is the dispenser of light to the earth. May the living light of the God force inflame our souls with abundant life. Our destiny lies amongst the stars and to the stars humanity shall ascend. Take a nice deep breath and feel into your body. Breathe deeply. Feel each breath as it moves into you. Follow your breath as it spreads throughout your body. And as you are breathing deeply and feeling deeply into each and every part of yourself, visualize yourself as the tree of life, however it is you imagine that tree to be. And Grow your branches up high into alpha sky. Drive your roots down deep into omega earth. I call on you in the east, alpha. I call on you in the west, omega. I call on you in the north, Alpha. I call on you in the south, Omega. Oh, Alpha. At Omega. The beginning. And the end. And the path of the age between, sunrise. And sunset. And the path of the sun between, birth. And death. And the path of life between. Alpha. Omega. E -O. Thank you for joining us here again at Alpha Omega Free Church in our Column Hinge Temple. This morning we are opening the ninth tree of life, a ninth treasury of light. We begin by calling out the angels in the invisible. Angels of the ninth treasury, attend. Watchers, we know your names, so stand aside and grant us entry into the treasury. Watchers withdraw. And the living Jesus said, there are 12 heads in my father's treasury, and these are the names that are in the places. When they sing praises to my father, and he gives light power to them. Shining angel, head in my father's treasury in the honored place of the east. We call upon you. We invoke you by your sacred and ancient name left to us by the living Jesus. Aoza-e-ya. 
Oza oe Oza oe Eya a Eya Naraneza o Naraneza o Goza zae Goza zae Tunisia for all the air for Doze ya ya Doze ya ya Es ab sah unza Es ab sah unza Bareza ze i Bareza ze i Hey officer So we completed our journey through the places. Invoking each of the 12 mighty angels, head and in their proper place and their proper rank. And at length we came into the place of the midst, the place called the center, the place of the father of the treasury of light. O oh, Father of the Ninth Treasure of Light, by your cipher and by your name we call you forth. Ioe i towi. Ioe i towi. Let the divine light descend. It is the intention of this ritual and our fervent prayer to establish human liberty worldwide. Establish human liberty worldwide. Abolish slavery in all its forms. Abolish slavery in all its forms. 
and establish a pro-human future. Establish a pro-human future. Restore the purity of our air. Restore the purity of our air. Of our water. Restore the purity of our water. Of our food. Restore the purity of our food. And our medicines. Restore the purity of our medicines. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect Homo sapiens from extinction. Protect the integrity of our genetic code. Protect the integrity of Homo sapiens genetic code. May our spirits be exalted. May our spirits be exalted. May our bodies become a fountain of living light. May our bodies become a fountain of living light. May the pathway of ascension be opened. May the pathway of ascension be opened. Unto resurrection and eternal life. Unto resurrection and eternal life. All these things we ask in the name of the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. So mote it be. Take a moment now to again feel into your body. This ancient magical rite we are doing together helps you experience more God force energy. When the wind is blowing and the air is cold, it is easy to feel the God force energy because God force energy is like that cold biting wind. It seeps in through your clothes, chilling every bit of you. But that's where the wind and the Holy Spirit part company. Because the Holy Spirit is not cold. It is hot. It is so hot that you might accidentally think it is cold. And that's a paradox. But it's something that is well known amongst science. That things that are extremely hot and extremely cold feel exactly the same on your skin. Even sound can burn your skin as surely as light or wind. And that is because that burning sensation is an important sensation to recognize within yourself. That burning sensation of fire. That fire within your heart that tells you that it must be done and no consequence shall keep you from it. That is when your will is fully engaged. Why do you think Jesus' heart is shown as being on fire and wrapped in barbed wire and thorns? That is because this life is painful, but if you live it full of passion, you will be able to rise above the pain and the inconvenience and the annoyance. And how do you rise above that? Well, you recognize, first of all, that all those things are unnecessary. There's simply an illusion that can be sloughed off as easily as an old shirt. All you have to do is have faith in the Holy Spirit. How is that so hard to do when you're surrounded by it each and every day? But there are those who deny the Holy Spirit. They deny the fire in their chest because they feel they must do something else. For some reason, these people ignore the Holy Spirit and choose instead to follow the material body. Instead of following the Holy Spirit that says, go out there, do the hard thing, the physical body says, no, it's cold, it's windy, let's stay inside where it's warm and safe. Well, humanity wasn't raised in safety. There's nothing safe about being a human being. The whole process of birth is dangerous to mother and child. How many have died in childbirth? How many children have been born still? This life is dangerous, and if you think it's safe, you're living a lie. You need to get out. You need to experience life. Why are you afraid? Fear is an illusion. You were made in the image of God. Do you think God is afraid of anything? Well, then, if you made in the image of God, how can you fear? How can there be any fear in you? How can there be any doubt at all in what you do? You know that what you do is right. You move in the direction of godliness. And so when that fire burns in your heart, move in that direction as well. And everyone else in your way is nothing more than dust. Let them blow with their winds. You are an anchor. You hold your place. This is not an easy time we are moving into. And there's no place for cowardice. And there's no place for those who would seek comfort over freedom. Because the old saying is true. 
Those who would trade their freedom for comfort deserve neither. And that's exactly what you'll get from the communists. They want to hurt you for the fun of it. Don't submit. Understand that God would not submit. You are made in the image of God. Start acting like it. The first thing you do is remember that you are made in the image of God. Nothing can defile you unless you allow it. You are strong and nothing can break you unless you allow it. You know what is right and no one convince you of otherwise unless you actually listen. So what do you need to do when these people come at you? Well, I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to put your faith in God. You need to remember why you're here. And you need to make your spine straight and strong. And square your shoulders and set your jaw and dig your heels in. And say, this far and no further, because I am filled with the God Force. Thank you, Leslie, for that beautiful and inspiring message. If you'd like to know more about the secret teachings of Jesus, be sure to visit us on the web at alphaomega.church. Share this video, please, and help us get the word out. Also, while you're there, download our free ebook that gives you the beginning of the secret teachings of Jesus system, beginning with the three secret baptisms Jesus used to initiate his disciples. Also, while you're there, we ask that you consider leaving a donation. We'll be here with you and for you again tomorrow at the same time. And until then, have faith and expect a miracle. And until we have the pleasure of each other's company again, may the God force run strong within you. And as always, may all your prayers, your magics, your hopes and your dreams manifest better than you ever expected.